Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at an Assassin's Creed 2 benchmark, running in Wine 1.8 RC2 staging against native Windows performance. So I've been binging on the Assassin's Creed franchise for the past week and a half, so now I'm curious as to how it performs. Now if you notice in the background, I'm actually running a dual monitor setup on Ubuntu, so that's Wine right there running in the first screen and Ubuntu still running on the second desktop so it works in multi-monitor setup which is pretty awesome. But the purpose of this video is to see the performance first and foremost. What's the frame rates we get? So one thing I do have to know beforehand is that I'm running the NVIDIA 358.16 drivers on Ubuntu 15.10 64-bit here and 355.98 drivers on Windows 10. So there is a discrepancy there. I can't get the 358 drivers to work on Windows 10 at all. All right, I've almost broken my system trying to do it. So let's go ahead and see the results. The settings are maxed out at 1080p with the exception of vSync and multi-sampling being both off for both systems. So starting right off the bat, on the left side we have Ubuntu 15.10 with Wine 1.8 RC2 staging. And on the right side, we have Windows 10, the native experience. Hey, what's with the so what we can see is that when we're outside of the Animus, Wine is capable of reaching 60 frames per second, while the native Windows experience seems to be hard capped at 30 frames per second. Now, these frames we're seeing is despite having the same settings on both sides. Now, I have tried quite extensively to remove this 30 FPS cap on the Windows side, to no avail. I elaborate more on this in the summary of the video. So now to a later part of the game where I have pretty much everything unlocked. We are at the Villa Monteregioni. So I have Altera's costume, his weapons, everything unlocked, full health. And we are seeing both sides once we are in Animus generally stay around the 30 frames per second area. Now occasionally in the wine you'll see it drop a bit lower, drops down to 25 sometimes. Then like we can see right now, once the map is generally loaded, it goes back up to 30, sometimes going a little bit higher than 30. So it doesn't seem to be hard capped as the Windows version is, and I'm not sure why that is exactly. VSync is off for both of these. So climbing up the beautiful villa that we own that I have unlocked as everything, I really love this game. We're about to do a leap of faith. Now we have a general overview of the entire villa. So we're seeing several different levels of detail in the game here. That's why I'm doing it up close, then I'm climbing, then I'm doing a leap of faith. I'm trying to get as much of the level of detail aspect of the game into this benchmark. So as we can see, we very much get the Windows experience through Wine. So this is not just playable, this is practically indifferent. The only aspects of the game that I have yet to try would be the multiplayer facet of this side. So that's it for the benchmark. Okay, so those were pretty interesting results overall. I was definitely surprised to see that I can bypass the 30 FPS lock when using Wine. Now I've tried many things for the Windows side. I've tried to, disabling the VSync, I've gone into the INI file, I've tried D3D Overrider which doesn't seem to work properly with Windows 10. I've even tried... Uh, what was it? There was an alt tab trick that someone posted on a forum somewhere where supposedly if you alt tab into it in a certain way you'll unlock that FPS lock. Doesn't work at all. So as you can see we were only getting 30 frames per second max on the Windows side. I never got higher than that. We did for some odd reason outside of the Animus we can get up towards 60 frames per second in Wine. A bit strange but in the end it doesn't really matter because you spend most of your time inside the Animus. So that said, performance is actually really good. I can see why there is a Platinum rating for Assassin's Creed 2 on Wine HQ. The benchmark, however, doesn't showcase a couple of other things. Now, one thing to note is that controller support is practically non-existent in Wine. I can't get controllers to work at all, as I'll show you right here. For those of you wondering, I am running an original version of Assassin's Creed 2 that goes through Uplay, so there's no cracks involved, there's no uh, funny business, it's completely a clean wine prefix. As you can see here, I'm starting it right off the bat from my Ubuntu desktop without any issues. So the controller does not work no matter what I set it in, and you'll notice that on the top right corner, I have 
the Uplay overlay that does not work. So the controller right off the bat, even when I press everything, it's plugged in through USB. Doesn't matter if it's it's counted as controller 1, 2, 3, or 4. So if we go into options here and controls, there are two options for the 360 controller. There's the Xbox 360 pad event, which as I showcase here, doesn't do anything, doesn't make any difference. And then when I change it to the other one, which is JS, I'm not sure what that stands for. I'm guessing it's something to do with Java. I could be wrong. Doesn't work as well. I've also tried using the Xbox controller emulator inside Y. It does not help the situation whatsoever. When I exit the game, well, before I exit the game, the Steam overlay works, but the Uplay overlay does not. But if you open up the Steam overlay, you will receive serious lag throughout the rest of the game. So I suggest not doing that. As soon as you exit, you'll see that the cloud saves do not work. So this is a serious downside. Unless you don't have any other systems you plan to play the game on. Drum roll, please. Introducing the Penguin Recordings seal of approval. So basically this seal says that this game, Assassin's Creed 2, does not need Windows to play. Wine will do just fine. Basically, if I was to give this over a 10, I'd give it an 8 over 10. It loses two points due to um, losing controller functionality. Although some people can get that working, I'm not one of those people, sadly. And additionally, it loses that due to the stuttering. The stuttering can be painful, especially when you're fighting heavy knights and you really need to respond quickly. When it gives that one second, two second stutter, that's the difference between life and death inside the game. So ultimately, Assassin's Creed 2 runs really well in wine. I am impressed. Still, considering that it's 30 frames per second lock, that kind of really sucks. But then again, we can't do anything about that. Apparently, this frame rate lock has to do with the Anvil engine that the Assassin's Creed games use. Apparently, all of them have some sort of FPS issue. I think Unity and Upwards don't have this, but I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. So that's it for this benchmark video, guys. I hope you got something useful out of it. I hope this was beneficial to you in one way or another. Please correct me if I've made any mistakes down below. And thank you for watching.